This is the Gulfstream G700, an enormous aircraft with a cabin that features five distinct living areas, space for up to 13 people to sleep, and a design that allows passengers to intuitively interact with their environment. Equipped with the all-new Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines and an advanced high-speed wing design, the G700 is able to fly at record-breaking speed of Mach 0.925 and has a range of 7,500 nautical miles. Today, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the real cost of owning a Gulfstream G700. The base purchase price for a new G700 is $75 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $11,000 and $15,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. There are two expense categories to consider fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are those that you pay no matter what. Whether the aircraft flies or not has no effect on fixed costs. These costs do not change in relation to the number of hours the aircraft flies. There are five criteria that have been identified as the biggest contributors to the annual fixed cost of operation. The first is crew salary. In terms of fixed costs, the crew salary is a significant one. Whether the aircraft is flying or not, the crew will need to be paid their salaries. This is a cost that will vary depending on the region and aircraft type. For example, the cost of labor in certain parts of the world is lower than others. Additionally, larger aircraft require more crew. Crew salary is estimated at $530,000 to $640,000. The second is crew training. This is a cost that will keep on occurring every year whether your aircraft flies or not. Having well-trained crew members is important. Again, they are integral to the safe and efficient operation of your aircraft. Crew training is estimated at $80,000 to $120,000. The third is hangar. When it comes to aircraft storage, there are two options, hangar or tie-down. In most cases, owners are not going to let their plane sit out in the wind and rain. Therefore, it is a safe assumption that most private aircraft will be stored in hangars when not in use. Hangars estimated at $110,000 to $150,000. The fourth is insurance. In simple terms, there are two types of insurance that private planes must have. The first is liability insurance. This provides cover against loss, damage, or injury to third parties such as passengers, cargo, and baggage. The second is hull insurance. Hull insurance policies are agreed on the value of the aircraft. Therefore, in the event of a total loss, insurers will pay the agreed value as opposed to the current market value. These are two essential pieces of insurance for private planes. However, owners may also wish to consider aviation hull war insurance and crew insurance. Aviation Hull War Insurance provides cover for loss of the aircraft due to war, hijack, confiscation, malicious damage, and other similar risks. This is typically chosen by owners who will be flying into hazardous destinations. Crew insurance allows pilots and crew members to be provided with an enhanced employee benefit package, such as including loss of license cover, personal accident cover, and travel insurance. Insurance is estimated at $110,000 to $150,000. The fifth and final one is management. An aircraft management team provides all the necessary services required to fly the aircraft. For example, sourcing and managing pilots to make sure the aircraft is airworthy are all tasks provided by your aircraft management company. Of course, there is the option of so-called self-management where the management tasks are left with your pilot in command. However, this option is rarely selected. Therefore, in the ownership cost example, we assume an aircraft management company is involved. Management is estimated at $80,000 to $100,000. In total, the annual cost for the G700 is estimated at $910,000 to $1.16 million. Variable costs, on the other hand, are directly proportional to the number of hours the aircraft flies per year. The more you fly the aircraft, the more it will cost you. Because of this, 
the estimated variable cost is presented as an hourly figure, which is how much extra the aircraft will cost you per flight hour. There are four factors that we have built into the hourly variable cost figure. The first is fuel. Fuel costs are a significant hourly expense when operating a private plane. Of course, the amount of fuel that the aircraft burns per hour will vary greatly depending on its average hourly consumption. Of course, depending on location, fuel prices vary dramatically. On average, the G700 burns 380 gallons or 1,440 liters per hour, so fuel is estimated at $2,600 to $3,000 per hour. The second is maintenance. In order to ensure that aircraft are safe to fly, they require maintenance at regular intervals. These intervals are scheduled and dependent on the manufacturer guidelines. Maintenance is scheduled based on number of hours flown. For example, a certain aircraft may need an inspection every 100 hours. Additionally, these maintenance events are in direct relation to the number of hours that the aircraft has flown. Therefore, the more the aircraft flies, the more maintenance it will require. However, this cost also takes into account any unexpected maintenance events. For example, a bird strike or blown tire will introduce an unexpected maintenance check. Maintenance is estimated at $120 to $150. The third is engine overhaul. An engine overhaul is a more serious scheduled event that is essentially the maintenance and inspection of the engine. Again, much like maintenance of the airframe, the more an engine is used, the more wear and tear it will experience. Therefore, the more hours flown, the more often an engine overhaul will need to be performed. Engine overhaul is estimated at $2,200 to $2,800. The fourth and final one is fees for crew, landing, and handling. Crew fees are those that you need to pay the crew during an extended stay. Additionally, crew fees are highly dependent on the length of stay in the location. For example, crew overnight expenses, such as hotels and food, will cost far more in New York City than Wichita, Kansas. Secondly, when landing at an airport, aircraft are charged a landing fee, which is usually based on the weight of the aircraft. Therefore, larger aircraft have greater landing fees than smaller aircraft. Landing fees will vary from airport to airport. For example, if you were to fly regularly out of LaGuardia Airport, New York, the cost of landing fees would be greater than if you regularly flew from Wichita National Airport. And finally, handling fees go hand in hand with landing fees. When on the ground, you will need the aircraft to be parked securely, bags unloaded, and various ground services. Fees for crew, landing, and handling are estimated at $350 to $450. In total, the hourly cost for the G700 is estimated at $5,400 to $6,400. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.